So here's an interesting one for you. This is my 60s mobile by Opus Technology. Basically this is a mobile phone because it runs off a mobile network instead of a landline. But it is designed to be used as a desktop landline home phone. So instead of being connected to a fixed line, it has a SIM card installed as you can see on the base. Just a regular old standard SIM card. Um, so it's designed for people who are older that don't want a mobile phone. Uh, that don't have a landline or anyone that doesn't have a landline basically but wants a home phone and um, so it's good for that but it is totally portable and of course cordless so you can carry it around so it's really cool so I decided to uh, see what it was like it was quite expensive it was about £109 and um, that was free shipping though so the shipping price was probably included in the price of the item uh, it did come from Germany. It's made in China, but it's a German product. It was it was developed in Germany, so they sell them all over the world. And um, this company, which is called Opus Technology, so here's the box it came in. It's quite a good quality box actually, and on the front of it, it's got a picture of the Opus 500 type mobile phone, and on the back of the box, it shows a picture of the phone from the back, which I think is really cool. And there's the logo. So as you can see, it is targeted at older people. As you can see, the guy there with the walking stick looking quite jolly, hopping around there. Um, so along with the uh, phone, you also get the charger, which just has one of these little jack plugs, as you can see. Now, of course, because I'm in the UK, I've got this three-prong plug, which is just our standard outlets that we have in the UK. Um, but the one that comes in the box is the European type, which is the round two prong. Now, depending on where you buy this, you'll also get included your relevant country's charger. Uh, so you also get a manual with it, of course. It's quite a thick manual because it's um, in many different languages. But there's also a directory at the back as well here, which I think is really cool. Let me find it. don't think it's that far in. Oh, it's on this side, sorry. There we go. Um, but it does have um, quite a few features, this. You can actually program in um, an area code. You can also program... Uh, program? <laughs> Is that a new word? Um, program speed dial numbers. Um, you can adjust the volume of the receiver by dialing a code here. Basically by using the star and hash um, facilities. Now, of course, it is tone. And the dial on the inside um, operates like an old GPO 21 type dial, but it does have an American style governor. Um, so I'll give you a little demonstration of what the dial sounds like. As you can hear, it's a little bit cheap sounding, but it's not as bad as some of those Protelex um, landline, um, what do they call them? replica type um, 70s, 60s type telephones and the dials on those are awful and the finger stop has a little click on them but this is a, a proper fixed finger stop because it does pulse like a regular old dial would but it turns the pulses into tones straight from the dial but anyway it is designed to be um, styled like a Western Electric 500 and um, you can get them in many different colours I chose the white version because it looks quite fresh and modern in white I think. I made my own number card for it which is an old GPO style with my own number on it that's why it's covered up with a bit of tape there. Um, so of course it says dial 999 for fire police ambulance and 100 for the operator and those facilities are actually supported by O2 so that's quite convenient. But here's the handset um, again just like a Western Electric 500 um, apart from the um, caps, of course, and these little bits here, but it's pretty much the same. You can also get dial tone. You can hear that there. It's the European type dial tone, of course, being a German product. There's the uh, hook switch. And your carry handle at the back. And on the base, it's got the on-off switch there, as you can see. Your SIM card, which slots in there. And there's three indicator lights. There's a SIM card light for when there's no SIM card installed. I believe that lights up. 
the centre one is the connection light, so if there's a poor connection or no connection at all, that light will um, illuminate. And the battery light will also come on if it's charging or the battery's low. Um, I can't remember what colours they light up in, but um, they do illuminate in uh, three different colours, I believe. Um, so the white version was the only one with the matching handset cord, so that's another reason why I chose that one, because, you know, I can be quite anal about stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I'll just give you a view of it from the back. It has a um, little port there where originally the cord would go in uh, to a landline version, and that's for the charging of it. So yeah, there it is. And of course, there's the little holes where the sound from the bell comes out of. Just a single gong, of course, but at least it has a metal bell ringer. And there's the feet there, very similar to an original 500 type. So there's the rating plate, it says Opus 60s Mobile, and it gives you the website there and the model number. Developed in Germany, made in China. So there you go. So I'll give you a little demonstration of it dialing out. So there's the dial tone. Now you don't hear the tones when you're dialing out, you only hear the tones when you're on a call menu option. Um, I can't really demonstrate that while I dial, but here we go. So there you go. Um, I could dial one other number, and there's the dial tone. So that's just my um, VoIP line. Um, so I'll give you a demonstration of the ringer. You can actually change the um, the connection time delay. I think it's between two and four seconds, again by dialing in a special code. But I'll give you a demonstration of what the ringer sounds like. So here you go. Of course, it has an American cadence. So there you go. It's got quite a nice little charm to it. It's only a small bell, probably about that big. But anyway, sorry about the, all the lighting changes. It's because I've got a black um, hob here, or stove, and the phone's bright white. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you again very soon.